Hello, how many people we have today? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Repeat with me, Alexis. Hello. Hello. No diga hello, diga hello. Hi, mejor, no fácil. No, 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 que usted aprende a decirlo todos. Good evening, Carmen. Say with me, hello. Hello. Hey, you see, nice. That sounds more American. Hello. Hello. Very good, very good. Nice. Now we're going to start. How many people we have? Four. We have four uh, people. Three students. Two students. Three and students two. and me. Okay, let's wait for the others one minute only. Right, one minute so we can start with our class for tonight because I have a lot of grammar to teach you today, guys. Mm -hmm. I love grammar, so let's see. Let's wait for the others. Let's just start with the class. Right? And we're with unit number three today, actually. Okay, vamos 11 clases, unbelievable. So let's wait for the others at 8.03. A las 8 y 3 comenzamos nosotros los que estemos, okay? Okay. Very good. Hello, Carmen. Hello, Alexis. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Well, I think we should start right now, right, with the class. We're going to start with video conference numero 11 with the people we have, right? And this, the name of this video conference is called Present Continuous for Future Events, okay? Present Continuous. This is one way, or you can call it also Present Progressive, okay? Present Continuous or present progressive, it's the same name. Now, we start here, right? I would like to make some recalling from the previous class. We are in unit number three. Estamos en unidad tres, yay, right? And we're going to practice right now. First, pronunciation, because last week we practiced pronunciation of, moment, okay. We practice pronunciation of the months of the year, right? So we have the first six months and the other months right here, right? So I would like you to please tell me the pronunciation of the first six months of the year. Alexis and Angie, you go with the next six months. Okay, let's start with you, Alexis. Teacher, que pronuncia todo lo Pronunciation. Yes. Pronunciation. Algunos me van a salir bien, otros no me van a salir muy bien que se diga, pero voy a darle. The first six, estos seis. The first ah, six. Ah, los seis, los seis. Mm -hmm. No, pero lo más difícil me dejó. Of course, claro que sí. <laughs> El primero es January, mm -hmm. eh, February, mm -hmm. March, April, 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 perdón, mm -hmm. May. May. Eh, este, este, July es el otro. Este es 
Pere, pere, pere. June. 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 Very June good. Came. Very good. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. Very nice. Thank you so much, Alexis. Angie, let's go with the other six. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Uh, July, August, September, October, November, December. December, very good. Sí. Now make it more, more American, Angie. More American. Tenemos que hacer sí. la pronunciación nítida. Now let's practice intonation. Ahora la intonación. July. July. August. 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 September. September. October. October. November. November. December. December. Very nice. Now, different intonation, you see? Let's continue, Carmen. You go with the first six. And then my friend, uh, Daniela Milkar is going to pronounce these other six, okay? Okay. In January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay. April. April. Okay. June. April, June. June. Very good. June. Now, Daniel? Uh, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, very good. Now tell me eh, with like more fancy, así más, más americano. Lo vamos a practicar, Daniel. And everyone listen to me. And listen to Daniel, okay? July. July. August. August. Uh, uh, August. Uh, August. Okay, September. September. October. 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 Uh -huh. November. November. December. December. Very nice. Very nice. Recuérdense que no solo es pronunciación, la pronunciación de él, muy buenísima, pero vamos con la entonación en inglés. ¿Ok? Good, good. Let's practice. Remember the ordinal years, the ordinal numbers, and the cardinal numbers, right? We are going to practice the cardinal, no, the ordinal numbers right now. Eso ya se los puede. Eso es no, right? These ones, I want you to practice the ordinal numbers. And for that, for this practice, se los he puesto así para que vean cuál, es el, cuál pertenece a cuál, right? For this, I want you to practice and help me out with the practice. From here to here, Abidail. Here to here, Maria Concepcion. Here to here, Emerson. And who else is here? And six to 20, we go with Sandra. Please, Abidail, Maria, Emerson, and Sandra. Go ahead. Ah, empiezo. <laughs> yes. Okay. First. First. Second. Mm -hmm. Year. Third. Third. Uh, fourth. Fourth. Uh huh. He. Fifth. Fifth. Repeat. Fifth. Fifth. Very good. Now Fifth. repeat with me. First. First. Second. Second. Third. Third. Fourth. Fourth. Fifth. Fifth. Okay. Very nice. 
Concepción. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Chips, sevens, apes, knives, tens. Ten. Ten. Okay, very good. Ten. Very good. Let's continue there with E as in Emerson. Eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. Okay, very nice, very nice pronunciation. In Sandrita, you go with the last five. Good evening. We cannot hear you, Sandrita. We cannot hear you. Okay. Maybe you can fix the mic, Sandra. We're going to go with Asalia. Asalia. Let's practice from 16 to 20. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, los ordinals. Yes. The other ones, no, eso ya no nos importa. Eso no importa. <laughs> okay. Um, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20. 20th. 20th. Repeat, listen to me. 20th. 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 Very good. Very good. Now, one of the more like difficult sounds in English is this one, guys. That's the more one of the most difficult sounds. Okay, and I want you to make sure of this. This sound, este sonido, el de la TH. No solamente se va a pronunciar como, ¿ok? No se vayan a casar con ese sonido. Porque it's different every time that we use it. Siempre que lo usemos, puede que sea distinto, ¿ok? Este es el que estamos pronunciando en estos momentos para los números ordinales. Después pueden ver, ahorita estamos viendo como, puede ser la palabra think. I think you are very smart. I think you are very smart. O puede ser, por ejemplo, la palabra even though. Es la misma TH, chicos. Es la misma TH, pero ya no se va a pronunciar igual. Okay, se lo estoy diciendo desde el nivel 2 para que recordemos que la TH tiene diversa pronunciación. ¿Ok? Think even though. Right? But thought, I thought, I thought that the class started at eight. Yo pensé que la clase empezaba a las ocho. I thought, right? Think, even though, thought. Miren qué distinta la pronunciación de cada TH en cada una de las palabras, ¿ok? Así que recuérdense, para los números ordin ordinales, vamos a usar este sonido. Eleven, fifth. 7th, 8th, 12th, 20th, 30th, okay? That's the sound that we're going to use. Now, let's continue. ¿Sí me entendieron esa parte? Esa es una parte para que ustedes se lleven eh, a casita y se recuerden que no nos vamos a casar con un solo, una sola pronunciación, okay? Let's continue. Now, we practice last... Last time with, I want you to practice how to say dates, specific dates in English, right? And we're going to ask a question here. For example, when we say, when is your birthday, right? When is your birthday, Carmen? And we are going to use this with the structure, a special day plus birth to be plus on plus month. When is your birthday? My birthday is on. April 2nd. When is your birthday? My birthday is on April 2nd. Right? On April 2nd. 
when is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is on May 10th. Mother's Day is on May 10th. Okay. Do you remember that last week on each month, I put Halloween, Thanksgiving, uh, we put also Mother's Day, right? So tell me, when is Halloween? When is Halloween, Carmen? Halloween is on October 31st. Halloween is on October 31st. Excellent. Halloween is on October 31st. When is thanks? No. When is Father's Day in El Salvador, Asalia? When is Father's Day? Today's father is is June. Is on. Mira, aquí está la, aquí está la, 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 la fórmula. Father's Day is? Is on June. Mm -hmm. June one. Mm -hmm. 20, no. 20. Se seven. 17. <laughs> 17. 17. 17. Es que no me acordaba cómo pronunciarlo. Mm -hmm. 17, okay. Now, tell me here, Angie, when is your birthday? My birthday is... Um, my six. birthday? My birthday is on um, uh, August... Um, six. It's on August 6th. Okay, very good. Tienen que estar más listos con los números, okay? Los números, se los voy a poner acá. Take a screenshot. Tome un screenshot. Tienen que estar con los números. No se pueden olvidar de los números. Okay, you cannot forget the numbers. Ahí se los pongo, cardinales y ordinales para que vean que son lo mismo, solo que unos tienen función de números y los otros los vamos a utilizar, los números los vamos a utilizar para fechas. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, so Angie, again, when is your birthday? My birthday is on August 16. August 16. 16. 16. Very 16. good. 16. Ok. Alexis, when is Christmas Day? Uh, July. Uh... Christmas? When is Christmas Christmas. Day? Christmas. Christmas. Like when we December, have Santa. December. Oh, December. July. Okay. But give me in July. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. Me equivoqué. Es que, eh, man, no, malinterpreté. Pensé que era de fecha de cumpleaños. Uh -huh. Birthday. Escuché más. Listening, listening. Okay. Again. When is Christmas Day, Alexis? Uh... Look at the it's formula. Christmas Day is December. It's on. It's on December. Twenty fourth. On December twenty fourth. Okay, in El Salvador. Okay. In, in El Salvador. Okay. When? Yes, yes. When is? Let me see here. Ana Gabriela, Ana Gabriela, when is um, when is Mother's Day in a, no Mother's Day is easy. When is um, when is Holy Week? When is Holy Week? It this year? Yes. It, Holy Week is only week. Holy Week is um, March. Is on March. On March. On March 28th. 
uh, April 4. Okay, to April 4, okay? To April 4. To April 4, very good, thank you. Gabriela, Daniela Milka, when is your birthday? Uh, is in is on January. My birthday is my my birthday is on January. On January what? Twenty five. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. 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 Very good. Very good. Now, do we understand how to give a date? Como a hablar de un día especial? ¿Se entiende? Chicos? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, very well then. Let me go ahead and call the attendance before we continue. Vamos a poner la, la asistencia. Antes que sigamos con la clase. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, let's just start with Ana Gabriela. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, we have Angela Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Azalia Guardado. Present, teacher. Carmen Lisette Hernández. Present. Silvia Castro. Daniela Milka. Present. Emerson Javier. Present. José Alfonso Palma. Juan Josué Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present, teacher. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Ileana Gómez Ortega. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present, teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. Roxana Yanira Mengiva. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. And... Oh, present. I hear you, I hear you. Jennifer <laughs> Abidai Lopez is photo. Okay, very good. So, hi. Now we're going to continue right now with the class. Right. Do you have a question about how to say special dates? Tienen alguna pregunta de cómo decir el special date? No? No. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make a practice here very quick. We're going to do this practice individually right now. And we're going to write here three special dates, okay? This is the example, okay? This is the example. When is New Year's Eve, right? New Year's Eve is on December 31st, right? That's my example. I need you to write three examples, right? Write the question, escriban la pregunta, and write the answer. Okay? Piensen en los días especiales, right? Existen. When is my mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is on September 25th. Okay, es especial para mí, right? My mother's birthday. When is my anniversary? When is my wedding anniversary? My wedding anniversary is on February 28th, right? So, we're going to talk about a special days, a special days. Escribamos tres, la pregunta con su respuesta. We're going to write three questions and three answers with the special days. A special days for you, okay? Pueden utilizar holidays, pueden utilizar eh, eh, información personal, there's no problem, but I want you to write three, okay? Let's do it individually and please take a screenshot of this activity right now. Take a screenshot.
ok tomaron el screenshot tomaron el screenshot yes teacher sí. ahí sería yes teacher ahí okay. sería when is a special day verdad when is for example when is a mother's day cuál es el special date el special date es el día un día especial puede ser una fiesta un cumpleaños, un día que, por ejemplo, puede decir, when is my anniversary? Okay. My anniversary es mi aniversario, ese día es especial para mí, right? O puedo poner otra fecha especial. When is Christmas day? Right? Uh, there are many, many holidays in El Salvador that we can use. When is nurse day? When is secretary's day? When is... Um, Teachers Day, many things that we can put. Okay, let's start and let's do it individually. Ya que la pregunta va a ser diferente. No, sí, la pregunta siempre va a ser distinta. Porque va a tener ah. tres, tres special dates. Special day se refiere a una fecha importante. Mm, okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Let's continue. I will give you, I think, three minutes. Three minutes to finish. Three minutes. I finished. Finished. Very good. Do you finish? Only Carmen? I finished, teacher. You finished, Gabby? Very good. We have Carmen and Gabriela have finished. Who else finished? Okay, let's listen to right now to some of the examples. We're going to listen to Carmen. Carmen, give us one special day. What is my daughter's birthday? My, daughter, my daughter's birthday is on January 25th. Okay, it's on January 25th. Now repeat with me, Carmen, birthday. Birthday. Birthday, very good, Birth birthday. Birthday. Very Can nice. Can I see the other? Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, when is some Valentine's Day? Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, Valentine's Day only. Both, both. Both are correct. Okay. Some Valentine's Day is on February 14th. It's on February 14th. Very nice. Very nice. 
And Gabriela, thank you, Carmen, for your participation. Gabriela. Okay. Um, when is um, Thanksgiving Day? Dance, what Thanksgiving Day is on November 26th. It's on November 26th. Okay. This year. This year. This, this year. Yes. <laughs> this year. Now, repeat with me. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, there you are. Excellent pronunciation, Gabriela. Tell me another one. Okay. Um, when is my wedding anniversary? Mm -hmm. My wedding anniversary is October 8th. It's on October it's 8th. on October 8th. Very nice. It's on October 8th. Choose another person, Gabriela, to participate right now. Choose one of them. Mm. Asalia. Asalia. Tell me one example, Asalia. When, when in is special days in my life, um, my children' birth, birthday. No, let me let me let me help you right now, okay? My Enjoy. special day is happy birthday. No, 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 no. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Now we have here, right? This special day. We're gonna copy this right now. And everyone, please pay attention, okay? We're going to put here when is, right? And the answer is going to be followed like this, right? This, okay, okay. This is the special day. The special day. Okay, listen. Listen to me, listen to me. Okay. When is my daughter's birthday? Okay, vamos a ponerla acá, vamos a poner acá, para que veamos cómo va todo conectado. Okay, and this is going to be the same. Okay. When is my daughter's birthday. When is my daughter's birthday? Entonces, el cumpleaños de su hija es el especial. No tiene por qué decir special day en la pregunta. ¿Ok? When is my daughter's birthday? ¿Cuál the sería miss, acá? De mis. Ok. ¿Cuál sería acá la respuesta que queremos dar? Vamos a utilizar esta fórmula. When is my daughter's birthday? Right? So, we put here, what is the special day, Asalia? What is the special day? It's on June. No. What is the special day? No date. Fíjense en la pregunta, lo que acabo de hacer la pregunta. ¿Qué subrayé y qué puse entre paréntesis? My daughter's birthday. Exactly. Okay. My daughter's. My daughter's. Birthday. Right. Verb to be. Is. Is. On. On. June. June. And. March. June, March. O es en junio o es en marzo. It's only for June. one. Uh -huh. Just one. Two. Okay. How do you say two in ordinal numbers, Cecilia? Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. No. Okay. ¿Cuál 20, es el número de 27. 27. Very good, 27, very good. Now, look at everyone here. When is my daughter's birthday? My daughter's birthday is on June 27. My 
daughter's birthday is on June 27. Si son dos, ok, si son dos, si usted tiene, quiere ponerlo en plural, entonces ya cambiamos un poquito. My daughter's, my, do, my daughter's birthday are on June 27 and si usted le quiere cambiar y poner el de alguien más, March. En March. Tent. Tent. Ok. En en March. Tent. Ok. Now, give me another example. Sale. Haga los otros ejemplos con base en este que acabamos de ver. Ok. Ya regreso con usted. Now, choose another person, Asalia. Asalia, choose another person. Ahorita. Um, Ana Gabriela. No, ella acaba de pasar y ella le escogió a usted. Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, ok, Jenny, very good. Jenny. Jenny para ir ahí. Tell me your question and your answer. Mire todo el trabajo que acabamos de hacer con Asalia. Entonces usted aquí me va a, ir, me va a ocupar el ejemplo de Asalia. Tell me your special day. Your question and your answer, Abigail. Uh, my special day. No, no. When, When... It, but lleva pregunta y respuesta, chicos. Pregunta y respuesta. When is my special day? No. Okay. Uh, Look at the uh, examples I gave here. When is your birthday? ¿Cuál es el special day en esta pregunta? When is your birthday? ¿Cuál es el special day, Ángela? Uh, es el cumpleaños. En inglés, por favor. Your birthday. Your birthday, very good. And in this one, Gabriela, when is your mother's day? What is the special day? Mother's Day. Mother's Day, very good. Now, Abidail, tell me your question and your answer. Uh, when is my birthday? My? My birthday is on July 5. Okay, when is my birthday? Okay, my birthday, repeat. Birthday. Birth birthday. Birthday. Okay. When is your birthday, Abidail? My birthday is on July 5. Okay. Now tell me number five in ordinal number. I want it to hear in ordinal numbers. <laughs> Ahí los tiene ya. Latero. <laughs> What? Fifth. Fifth. Repeat. Fifth. Okay, very good. Fifth. Very nice. My birthday is on July 5th. Excellent job. Very good. My birthday is on July 5th. Excellent. Choose another person, Abigail. Ricardo? Ricardo, okay. Alexis, you're the only Ricardo right now. Hello, hello. Hello, no hello. 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 Ya lo practicamos. Okay, tell me your example. Bye, bye. Eh, yo lo hice corto, Tisha, no lo hice muy largo. Tell me your example. Eh, when is eh, your birthday? Mm -hmm. eh, my birthday is on July. Uh, 25. 
Tell me the number in ordinal numbers. Están practicando los números ordinales. Necesito que me digan los números ordinales, no cardinales. I want you to tell me ordinal numbers, not cardinal numbers. Teacher, es que solo hasta el 20 llega, espérenme. We practice, no, los practicamos el viernes. No sabemos. Los practicamos eh... hasta el 30. <risa> es eh, 10, 5. How do you say five in ordinal number, Alexis? Repeat. How do you say five in ordinal numbers? Uh, fix. Fifth, okay, very good. Fix. It's 25th. 25th, very good. 25th. My birthday is on? 25th. On in the, in the month? Uh, my birthday is on July 25th. 25th, okay. 25th. Re repeat, everyone, repeat with me this word that we're going to practice birthday. Let's just start with you, Carmen. Birthday. Birthday. Carmen? Birthday. Birthday. Alexis? Birthday. Birthday. Birth. Birth. Day. Day. Birthday. Birthday. No. Birthday. Birthday. Very good. Gabriela, birthday. 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 Birth. 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 Birthday. Birthday. Very good. Angela. Pronunciation? Birthday. Excellent. Eh, Daniel? Bur birthday. Birth. Birthday. 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 Very good. Asalia? Birthday. Birth. Birthday. Birthday. Very good. Emerson? Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> birthday. It's birthday. Birth. Birthday. Okay. Birthday. Uh, Josue. Birthday. Birthday. Okay. Leida. Birthday. Excellent, very good, Leida. Maria Concepcion? Birthday. Birth. Birthday. Excellent. Luis Armando? Birthday. Birthday, very good. Sandra? Birthday. Okay. Birth. Ah, Birth. birthday. Birth. Birthday. No es birthday, no. Birthday. Birthday. No, no es beer. No es beer, es birth. Birthday. Birth. Birth. Birthday. Birthday. Como que si fuera una E suavecita. Birthday. Birthday. Exactly. Very good. Abigail. Abigail. Hello. Birthday. Birthday. Excellent, excellent, very good. This is a difficult word. That's why we need to practice, okay? Si me dicen beer day, me están diciendo esto. Beer day. Beer day. Y beer day is an, is an October fest. Es el día de la cerveza, chicos. Y no, estamos hablando sure. del birthday. Yes, Carmen? Sure. I have a question with yeah. the contraction used in my daughter's birthday are in the mm. last one in the Possessive. last text uh -huh. yeah in this case the, the apostrophe is after the s when it's a plural yes is we're gonna okay. put s after plural nouns and okay. also all the words that finish with s okay 
for example, let's suppose that we have here uh, my uh, a word that starts with S, un nombre que termine con S, con S, con S, okay. Nombre que termine con S. Alexis. Valentine's. Okay. Alexis. We're going to put here. Alexis. Yes, yes. Alexis' yes, birthday is on June 27th. Okay. The word Alexis. Finished with S. With S. We're going to put the apostrophe at the end. Okay. No okay. solamente okay. plural. Okay. Very good. Now, we are going to continue here with the next activity. All right. Let's stop. Let's talk about this. Gabriela, can you please read the questions on the screen? There are two questions. Who, who calls the event at your work place? What are some events that are taking place, place the, ne the next week? Very good. Now, let's practice here, Ana Gabriela. Who schedules? Who schedules? Who schedules the events at your workplace? Who schedules the events at your workplace? Okay, events. Events. At your workplace. Very good. At your, at your workplace. Very nice. Now, we have two questions. Who schedules the events at your workplace? What are some events that are taking place the next week? So we're going to answer here. Let me put it here, the possible answer that we can use. Number one, who has scheduled the events? In my company, where I work in English Corporativo, right? Jason schedules schedules the events in at my workplace every day okay this is in where i work okay now what are some events that are taking place next week right some events that are taking place next week are, and we can mention some. For example, in my company, right, are, number one, students are enrolling in the new group. Number two, Teachers have a Zoom meeting next week, right? These are two events. So here I'm giving you information about question one and question two. These are my examples, right? These are my examples in my company. Now, what I want you to do right now is that you're going to work in pairs for three, four minutes, the mass, and you're going to share this information with your partner. Okay, we're going to speak in groups, right? And we're going to copy the, well, practice this conversation. Two questions and the two possible answers. Tenemos dos preguntas y dos posibles respuestas. Estas, estas uh, respuestas son mías, right? They are mine. But you can take them as an example to write your own questions. Is that clear? ¿Se entiende que estamos trabajando, chicos? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, only Gabriela. What about the others? Yes, Necesito teacher. que me confirmen si podemos seguir trabajando. Yes? Yes. Yes, Más o menos. Okay. yes teacher. Very good. We have two questions. Okay, and we are going to talk to give the answers to those two questions. Okay, mm -hmm. estos son ejemplos de las respuestas que podemos that okay now please take a screenshot of this of this example 
take a screenshot of this example? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now let's continue here. We're going to work in groups. Teacher, what is the difference between every day without space and every day with a space? The, 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 the word every day without space and every day with a space. Now, when we say every day and every day without the space, right? One of them, right? When we say every day together is an adjective, okay? And we use it to describe something that is seen or used every day, right? It means like ordinary or typical. And every day with a space is a phrase that simply means each day. Okay. Every day I go to the school. I see movies every day. Right? So that would be the difference. Every day together is an adjective. Right? And the other one is a word that we use to say that we have habitual things. Okay? I will send you right now a picture so we can work on that too. Now, let's continue. We're going to work in pairs here, right? We're going to have six groups. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Let's do it right now. Let's go. We're going to be together for three minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. And let's share the answers. Carmen, what is the first numbers of, of your phone number? What are the first numbers? Carmen, or she left. Choose your groups, please, select your groups. Emerson, select your group. Emerson, Javier. ¿Verdad? Luis Armando. No, ya había estado con usted en una clase anterior, en una... Ah, ok. En un grupo anterior. Sí. Ok, do you have questions? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, what is your question? Eh, vamos a contestar la primera o, o cualquiera de esas. Las dos. Yo le di la respuesta de las dos. Ejemplo de las dos. Okay. So you're going to answer and discuss right now the two of them. Jason okay. Schultz. Let me know, let me know. ¿Tienen preguntas? Esta actividad es para hablar, ¿no? Se tendríamos que estar hablando. Uh, es sobre el trabajo siempre, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Okay. ¿Quién te semana en el trabajo? No, el fin de semana. ¿Ah? No, en el fin de semana. No, la siguiente semana. Next week, yes, next week. Please. Okay. I'm waiting for your answers. Usemos los ejemplos que yo les di para que ustedes puedan crear los suyos. Eh, okay. Bueno, la respuesta del, de, de la mía, de la primera, sería how. Eh, me olvidé esa palabra. Se dice shell. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? La primera palabra de después de hope. Schedules. 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 Schedules.
Uh, who, who schedules the events at your workplace? Who, uh, who schedules uh, the events at your workplace? Workplace. Uh, work, workplace. Work, workplace. Mm -hmm. Sería Oscar, uh -huh. eh, Sheldon. Schedules. Uh, schedules, no es Sheldon. Schedule. Eh, day, events, and my work, pleasant, every day. No, acabamos de decir la pronunciación. Oscar schedules the events in my Oscar, workplace. Oscar schedules the events. Events. Events at my world. Plus every day. Place. Play. Es como que juego, tiene, ¿verdad? Se tiene, no. Place. No play. Place. Sí. Tiene que practicar tú? la place. Tiene que practicar play. la. Tiene que practicar la pronunciación y poner más atención a la. Place. Ok. Place. Ok. Play. Now. That is a good answer, Alexis. Asalia, give your answer. Play. Play. Practique ahorita, Alexis, su pronunciación. Asalia, who schedules the events at your workplace? Um, we... Will we will have an um, event next? No, I'm asking you question number one, Asalia. Who schedules the events at your workplace? La misma pregunta que uh, me respondió Alexis. Entonces tengo que decir some event. No. Estoy preguntando, Asalia, concentrémonos, yo sé que esto puede. Ok. Listen to me and Alexis. Alexis, who schedules the events at your workplace? Yes. Uh, my event. No. Alexis, responda. Escucha la respuesta de Alexis. Ok. Eh. Alexis, who schedules the events at your workplace? Oscar, Sketcher, uh -huh. Day, Evan, uh -huh. uh, at my work, play, at every my day. workplace, every day. Very good. Okay. Oscar, Sketchers, the events. Recordémonos, Asalia, las WH questions. ¿Se recuerda cuando vimos qué significaba cada WH question? Who? ¿De qué le estoy preguntando si hablo con who? ¿Cuándo? No. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Le estoy preguntando por personas, Azalea. Ah. Uh, uh -huh. Por eso él dice Oscar. Y yo le dije que uh -huh, no puse ahí. Jason. Right? Luis Armando, who schedules the events at your workplace? Jason is uh, Luis, uh, who the events at my workplace every day? Uh -huh. Who schedules the events at your workplace every day? Hagan lo que hizo Alexis. Él siguió el ejemplo que se le dio. Who schedules the events at your workplace every day, Luis? Eh, Usted que es que no le había entendido. Según yo, lo de Jason era una pregunta también. No, esa Pero es la respuesta. respuesta de la primera. Todas okay. esas son respuestas. Ok. Okay, let's go with the others right now. Let's practice with the others. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so let's practice right now. Okay, question number one that, we're, that I'm going to put here. Is for Josué. Who schedules the events at your workplace? Josué? Who schedules the events at your workplace? Ok. 
Okay. Um, Uh, Carlos Schultz, the the event, the train marketing. In the marketing team, okay. Carlos schedules. Repeat the word schedules. 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 Very good. Now. Let's see, uh, Alexis, who schedules the events at your workplace? Microphone? Yes, yes, uh, sorry. Uh, poster, schedule, the event at, at your work play play workplace repeat work workplace 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 very good very good now choose another person alexis uh, repeat choose another person choose another person Esa es una frase que les había dado. Choose another person. Selecciona a otra persona. Puedo decir ah, uno. Ok, okay eh, Azalea wants to participate. Ok, Azalea. Okay. Eh, pero solo la primera. Ok. <risa> María Schultz. Schedules. Schedule the events at my workplace sometime. Sometime. Ok. Very good. Uh, Alexis, look at the chat. Now, schedules. Everyone repeat with me. A schedule. Schedule. Everyone, not only Asalia. Everyone. A schedule. A schedule. It's like with Yeah. Schedule. 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 Exactly. Schedule. You're going to put your tongue like this. Uh, a schedule. Uh, schedule. schedule. Very schedule. good. Schedule. Schedule. Okay. Very good. Abigail. Yes, Azale. No, está bien. Okay. <laughs> Abigail, <laughs> repeat with me. A schedule. A schedule. No se le oye. Okay. Leida, schedule. Schedule. Exactly. Sandra? Schedule. One more time. Schedule. 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 Okay, Angela? Schedule. Excellent, Angela. Very nice. Juan Josué? Sí, teacher. Repeat. Schedule. Schedule. Very good. Josué, necesito que imitemos más el acento. Schedule. Schedule. Very good. Very good. Now let's see Luis Armando. Schedule. Schedule. Excellent. Okay, very good. Now I need you to practice. This is a very important word. Si van a seguir trabajando en compañías, es una palabra que vamos a utilizar todos los días. ¿Ok? Schedule es horario, es agendar. Eh, what is my schedule? This is my schedule in the morning. This is my schedule. Right? Oh, I am going to schedule the activities tomorrow. I am going to schedule the activities for tomorrow. This is a schedule. Puede ser un noun, un nombre, en el que yo diga, ah, this is my schedule. Este es mi horario. O que yo diga, I am going to schedule my activities for tomorrow. Okay. Puede ser horario o puede ser agendar, programar. Okay. Tienen que aprender esa palabra, por favor. 
let's continue with the next activity. Okay. Let's see here. What are some events that are taking place place next week in your company, uh, Carmen? Um, the some events are taking in the next week. For example, general general if are they are general events. For example. Um, I mean, uh, uh, how do you say, for example, with the general meeting? For example, general holding, meeting? Hold, hold, holding general meeting. A we are holding a general, general meeting. meeting. Okay. Yeah. What else? Yes. And I don't know. I, I asked, I told to my partner in the, the, in the group that Normally, the human resource area is scheduled the events, the general events, for example, the, the Mother's Day, the Careers Day, the Healthy Day, for example, in the different, in the general calendars of, of the employees. Okay, very good. So we have different events that you can see next week. Okay, yeah. but you don't know until HR tells you. Okay, very good, very good. Now let's see the next activity we're going to do. And I want you to look at this conversation, okay? And we are going to pay attention to the words that are in bold. Las palabras que están en negrita, to the words that we have in bold, right? We have a conversation between Peter and Henry. Okay, Peter and Henry. Listen to me, please put your pens down and let's pay attention to the pronunciation. After this, I will have Sandra and I will have Juan Josue, okay? Listen. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hi, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Now we're going to start with Peter. It's going to be Sandra. Henry, you're going to, it's going to be Josue. After that, I will have Daniel and Gabriela. Let's see. Hello. 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 Henry, I, Hello. Hello. Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the Charlie conference? Hey, Peter. Well. Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but is Jules is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? With what I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Oh, great. So I am informing the committee about it. About it. Okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Now, remember here, here, right here, uh, Josue. When we say, guess what? Guess what? Adivina qué vos, así decimos en El Salvador, right? Adivina qué, right? Guess what, right? Guess what, I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Repeat with me, Josué. Guess what, I am. Guess what, I am. Very good, you see the difference? Right, yes. very good. Now, Gabriela and Amilcar. Okay. 
Okay. Gabriela, you are Peter. Amilcar, you are Henry. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is about your is attending conference this year too, so? I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am I am presenting why actor the new accountant. Sound great. So so I I am informing the committee about it about it. About it. Very good. About it. About it. About it. Very good. Very good. Now I need two more volunteers so we can go to the next activity. Teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, Alexis and another person, Carmen. Okay, Alexis, you're going to be Henry. Carmen, you're going to be Peter. Okay, hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in their yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Will uh, Maria is Paul. Julia is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Uh, West what? I am, I am present. We actor the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Very good, very good. Now we're just going to check some pronunciation here, okay? Now we're going to practice here conference. 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 Very good. Now we go with attending. 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 Very good. Attending. Guess what? Guess what? Guess. Guess what? Como la marca. Guess. Guess. Guess, Guess what? what? Okay. This one you see most of the time. Most of the time when we see the letter G, G and U together, right? La letra G y la letra U juntas, right? Yes. Va a ser G, G. G. For example, G. if you have this word, if you have this word, it's not guardian, it's guardian. 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 Okay? If you have this word, you know, in the entrance of every super selectos, we have a security guard. Sure. Okay, seguridad. Un seguridad está en los super selectos siempre. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Seguridad. Yeah. So we say guard. Okay, guess. Guess what? And accountant. 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 Very good. Accountant. Very good. Okay. Now, well, I want you to look at these phrases, right? Is attending the conference, is attending, is delivering, I am presenting, I am informing. Right now, I need you to pay attention because we are going to see another topic of grammar here, right? And we're going to see right now the present progressive, okay? We're going to see the present progressive. So I want you to pay attention to me, okay? Now. Let me show you my computer. This is on the book. You can see it later. Here, first, el libro nos pide que veamos el present progressive o present continuous, es lo mismo. Okay, present progressive y present continuous es exactamente lo mismo. Nos pide que veamos present progressive para futuro, pero primero nosotros vamos a ver el primer uso. Okay? We use the present continuous, right? Use number one. Right? We use the present continuous to talk about activities at the moment of speaking. 
activities at the moment I was speaking. For example, listen to me. Ponga sus libros afuera, ponme atención, por favor. We use the present continuous to talk about activities at the moment of speaking. For example, I am speaking English right now. I am teaching English right now. I can also say, for example, a Carmen is touching her hair, right? I can say also, Juan Josue is paying attention. Juan Josue is drinking water. Thank you, Juan Josue, right? Now, Azalia is touching her headset. So those are activities that we are doing at this moment, okay? We are doing these activities right now. Look at the activities that we have as examples. Leida, can you please read the activity? The first example, example number one here. Leida? Okay, okay. Read the first, read example number one. Leida, aunque tendría varios inconvenientes personales. No te olvides de suscribirte a un número. Que lo lea. Yes. Y le pasa. Read example number one. I am just living work. Y el día. He'll be home in in an hour. Okay, very good. I am just leaving work. I'll be home in one hour, right? In an hour. This is I will. Okay. I'm just leaving work. I will be home in an hour. Leda, read the second example. Please be quick. The children are still right now. Very good. Please be quiet. Be quiet. The children are sleeping right now. Okay? Please be quiet. The children are sleeping right now. We can say, Leida is watching TV. Right? Leida is watching TV right now. That's another example. So we use present continuous or present progressive to talk about activities at the moment of speaking. Okay? At the moment of speaking. ¿Se entiende para qué vamos a utilizar el present progressive? Ese es uno de los dos usos que vamos a ver este día. Do we understand what we use in present progressive? Se van a utilizar cuando vamos a... a ¿Cómo se llama esto? Mm, en lo que estamos haciendo del momento. Exactly. Very good. To describe activities that we're doing Right now. Right now significa en estos momentos. Okay. Podría, podría, podría ser I am sleeping uh, all. Mm -hmm. I am sleeping right now. Yes. I'm, I'm studying. studying. I'm, right now I'm you can say I am, I am, I am studying. Doing. I am studying English. Very studying. good. Studying English. And I can say, I am working right now. Yo estoy trabajando, ustedes están estudiando. I am working right now. Alexis can say, I am studying English, right? Very good. Let's pay attention to the example. Yes. Yes. Y en estas oraciones no llevaría moments, no, verdad? Solo sería la especificación de lo que está haciendo. You can say, for example, I'm just leaving work at this moment. Um, you can say that. No habría ningún problema moment. ponerla así. Ah, okay. This gives me more information. This tell me is more specific. For example, right now. I am drinking. At this moment, I am drinking coffee. Sí, pero no, siempre no. hagamos las oraciones sujeto, verbo, complemento, para que no se equivoque. Yes. Yes. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Subject, verb, complement. Let's take a look at the examples. Right? We have an example here. Can you see the, the pictures? Can you see the pictures? Yes. Okay. 
Look at here, it says Los Angeles, 4 a.m. Mexico City, 6 a.m. New York City, 7 a.m. Okay, what's Victoria doing? Carmen, what's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now, very good. Uh, Sandrita, what's Marcos doing? Sandra? It's mute. 6, 6 a.m. So he's get up. He's getting up. Getting up. So he's getting up. It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. Very good. Very good. New York City, 7 a.m. Asalia, what are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. They are having breakfast. Very good. So I want you to look at the phrases. Meaning, necesito que pongan atención a las partes que están en negrito. Okay? And they are involved. Involved significa negrito. Okay? I want you to pay attention to that spot. Because that is present progressive. Esa es la fórmula que vamos a utilizar. Right? She's sleeping. He is getting up. They are having breakfast. Verb to be plus the verb with the ing form. Okay? Let's go ahead and do a practice. Vamos a hacer una práctica. Please take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot of uh, a screenshot of the example. Okay, tomaron el screenshot del example, del ejemplo? Yes. Yes, todos, ya? ¿Puedo seguir? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Now, we have different questions here. Look at what we have, right? Let's do one together. Look at the pictures, right? Aquí podemos, yo le voy a dar las opciones del libro, okay? Pero ustedes pueden ser más creativos y decirme qué está pasando en esa picture, ¿ok? No tiene que ser exactamente lo que, lo que yo le voy a dar, pero una posibilidad por lo menos. What's Celia doing? She's in Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's arriving at her workplace. She's or at the bank. She's arriving to the bank. Okay. To the bank. To the bank. She's arriving to the bank. Okay, very good. Now, she's arriving. Llegando, va. Okay. She's arriving. That's one possibility. I don't know. Right? That, that might be one possibility. So, Just, what? Yes? She is uh, opening the door. She's opening the door. Very good. She is opening the door. Excellent job, Josue. That's another option. Okay. Yo les voy a mostrar las opciones del libro, pero ustedes quiero que sean creativos. What can you see in the pictures? Right? What are the activities that they are doing in the pictures? Now, I need you to take a screenshot. Este es el ejercicio que vamos a hacer. I need you to take a screenshot. Right? Did you finish? Yes? Yes. Very well. Now that we have finished, right? We are going to work. We are going to work right now with the. Uh, we're going to work in pairs, okay? In pairs only. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, okay? Pero no vamos a hacer que solamente el otro trabaje. We're going to work in pairs. We're going to work with different people right now, right? And we are going to share the information. Uh, do you think you can finish in five minutes or do you need more time? Cinco minutos o necesitamos más tiempo? Five, five minutes? minutes for the, the, the six picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five minutes for the six pictures. Okay. Very good. The demás, con cinco minutos estamos bien for the five, for the six pictures. Hello? Yes. Yes, okay, cinco minutos para el ejercicio. Okay, let's go. Let's go right here. Select your groups, please. 
So we can start. Select your group. Angie, select your group. Eh, por lo menos um, tal vez sería they are have a uh, lunch they are having lunch okay they are having lunch having lunch uh -huh. they are having lunch that would be an answer okay what about the others um they are conversation um, they are having a conversation uh, they are yes. having a conversation escriban escriban en el chat para que tengan las mismas respuestas they oh, are having okay. a conversation okay i see you in a moment checking the questions Question. Okay, the four. Do you have any questions? Alguna pregunta? No, teacher. We are we are understanding the picture, and after that, we are tell us about the activity that okay. is they doing. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'll see you in a moment. Okay. Bank. They they are. E Eating. They are eating. They are eating. London. They are eating London. Está comiendo London. No. no. They are eating what? What can you eat? ¿Qué puede comer? They are uh, eating. Breakfast. They are eating. Yes. Okay. They are eating yes. breakfast in London. Okay. Eating breakfast in London. Okay. <laughs> eh, la tercera sería eh, key. He is reading the book. Uh -huh. What? What is Andre doing? Andre? Doing. Repeat. Doing. 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 Ah, uh, he's a reading. He's a reading. Reading. Um, and email. Email. Do you have questions? Email. Eh, creo que no, teacher, por el momento. No sé, okay. si, no, sé, no sé si está bien. Yo escogí, bueno, hemos escogido eh, donde sale la imagen de uh, Andrei. No sé si así se dice. ¿Todas okay. las van a hacer? ¿Todas? Sí, la solo una. Ah, Todas. ok, ok. Ok, ok, ok. ¿Le queda la? No, pues sí, por eso he comenzado, teacher. Se la, se la puedo repetir para ver si está bien. Yes. Ah, otra, otra consulta que tenía en este tipo de preguntas así, el verbo va a llevar el, el ING. Yes. Sí, va siempre. Yes. Ah, ok. okay. Vaya, entonces la primera le puse He's checking report at 3 p.m. Ok. He's checking reports. Uh, report as at 3 p.m. P.m. PM. 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 Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Abigail, do you have a question? No. No? Okay. 
Okay, see you in a moment then. Uh, podemos decir right, que él está viendo una película en su laptop. Sí, que okay. sería his, his watching movie in your computer. In his computer. In his computer. In his computer. Okay. He's watching in his computer. Watching movie in his computer. He's watching movies in his computer. Okay. Ahí te la compartí en el chat. Bye. Creo que así se escribe. Let me see. I'm checking here. He is watching movies in his computers. Movies or one movie? He's watching uh, movies. One movie. One movie. He's watching a movie. A movie. Cuando es solo una, a movie. Okay. Okay. Oh. And y en la otra six. imagen se ve como que si estuviera saludando porque tiene levantada la mano. Podría ser o podría ser igual que se está tomando una foto para el recuerdo. Está posando entonces. Sí, sí, podría ser. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. She's... Okay, we're back. Before we continue, we'd like to call the attendance one more time. Right. Let's see here. Ana Gabriela Cordoba de Samayoa. Present. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie. Present. Carmen Lisset. Present. Celia Jasmine Castro. Eh, Celia is not here. Daniela Milka. Present. Emerson Javier. Present. Glenda Esmeralda. José Alfonso Palma. Juan Josué Hernández. Leida, Sus Leida Susana Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present, teacher. Present. María Concepción Cerón Jové. Present, teacher. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Roxana Yanira. Sandra Gladys. Present, teacher. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Ok. So that's the attendance for today. Let's see here. What are the answers that you have? created what are the answers that you have right we start here right let me show you right and here we have i have listened to many many different answers okay don't worry let's start i am going to ask each one of you right with the different answers that you may have so let's start uh, alexis the first picture What is Celia doing? Uh, hello, hello. What is Celia doing? Celia. Mm -hmm. Celia. 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 Um, she is uh, going to work at 9 a.m. She is working at 9 a.m. Yes. She is working at 9 a.m. Repeat. She working at 9 a.m. I I at 9 a.m. Okay, one more time. She is working at 9 a.m. She is working at 
9 p.m. Very nice. Let's continue there, Carmen. What do you have in number one? In, in number one, Celia is arriving to the bank at 9 a.m. Okay, very nice. Very nice, Carmen. Gabriela, what do you have for London, for Jim and Anne? They are at dinner in London at 12 noon. Okay, they are having dinner. They, they, they're having. They are having they dinner. They are having dinner okay. in London at 12 noon. Okay, very good. What do you have in this picture, eh, Josue? What are Jim and Anne doing? Well, repeat, teacher. What are Jim and Anne doing? Jim. Yes, picture number two in London. Ah, uh, Jim. <clears throat> Jim. Jim is eating the dinner. Okay, and the question is, what are Jim and Anne doing? What are they doing? They are eating. They are eating, very good. They are, they are no. eating, very good. What do you they have in this? Uh -huh. They are eating lunch, okay. A Emerson, what do you have in this? Same, London. London. Um, they are having a conversation. They are having a conversation. Excellent job. They are having a conversation. Good. Gabriela, Moscow, Andre. Mm -hmm. Andre. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. Give me a minute, please. I call uh, with my job. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, Concepcion, what's Andre doing? Maria Concepcion, what is Andre doing? What are you doing? What's Andre doing? Andre doing. Um, he is uh, reading a book. He is reading a book. Excellent. He is reading a book. Now, uh, Alexis, what's Andre doing? Um, well, sorry, teacher. What? What's Andre doing? Necesito que me pongan atención, chicos. Solo tenemos dos horas. What's Andre doing? In Moscow, what's Andre ah, doing? In Moscow, Moscow, yes, yes, yes. Um, Andre, 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 at 3 uh, p.m. Very well. Angie, what's Andre doing? Uh, he is uh, reading a book. He is reading a book, okay. Uh, let's see here. Carmen, what's Andre doing? Andre is Checking his bill. Checking his bill. <laughs> He's checking his bill. Por la cara, ¿verdad? Yes. He's worried. He's, he's worried. Okay. He's checking his bills. Very good. What's Pernside doing in Bangkok? The, uh, Daniela Milka? What is Pernside doing in Bangkok?
Daniel? Amil, can... Uh, repeat, please. What's Formsak doing? Uh, he's, he's having dinner. He's having dinner. Excellent. He's having dinner. He's having dinner. Very good. Now, Tokyo. Let's, well, let's see Bangkok again. Bangkok. Hey, Asalia, what do you have in Bangkok? Here. He has lunch at in Bangkok. He is having lunch. He is having. Remember, we're using present progressive. Change it. He is having lunch in Bangkok. Very good. What's Hiroshi doing? What is Hiroshi doing, Emerson? He is What's... watching a movie in his computer. He is watching a movie in his computer. Nice. Abidail, what's Hiroshi doing? Jennifer Abidail, what's Hiroshi doing? Yes. Yes, Leda? What's Hiroshi doing? He's meeting English class. <laughs> he's, he's taking his English class. He is taking his English class. Okay, very well. Now, the last one says your city. That's you. What are you doing, Sandra? Your city. What are you doing? Esto es para ustedes your directamente. City. Yes. Your city. What are you doing? She is arriving at her city. No. What are you doing? Ah. I uh, uh, I I am studying English. I am studying English. Very good. What are you doing, Luis Armando? Uh, I study uh, English. I'm studying English. Okay, very good. Now, these are the answers that you could give, right? The book gives us more answers here that I would like you to read. Vamos a practicar pronunciación. These are the answers that the book is giving us, right? Very similar, very, very similar to you, okay? Angie, uh, Angie, read the answer in the question in number one. What is Sally doing? Doing. 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 Again, doing. one more time. Again. What is Sally doing? Doing. Okay, read the answer. Um, she's going to work. She's going to work. Okay, very good. Repeat with me, Angie. What's Celia doing? What's Celia doing? She's going to work. She's going to work. Very good. Asalia, read number two. What are Jean and Anne doing? Doing. Doing. Everyone, please repeat with me. Doing. Doing. doing, doing, doing. What is she doing? What is what is, what is she doing? And, and doing? It's now. Okay, repeat. What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? Very good. Read now the question, please, Asalia. What is? What are? What? What are Jim and Aunt doing? It's noon, so they are eating lunch. Eating lunch. Eating lunch. Eating. Eating. Very good, very good. Concepcion, read the next one. Uh, 
What's Andre, Andre doing? No es doing, chicos. No es doing. Es doing. Okay, it's one doing. more time. What's Andre doing? He's working. He's working. Very good. Miren qué sencilla la respuesta que nos dio el libro y ustedes me dieron respuestas muy bonitas. Okay, he is working. Very good. Next one, Amilcar, Bangkok. Read here, Amilcar. Amilcar, are you there? Amilcar está en el trabajo, por eso le he puesto. Okay, so now you, Luis Armando. Uh, what she, what she doing? No, here. Ah. Um, Bangkok, 7 p.m. What? What? Uh, Juanito, what? diga. No importa, el nombre no importa. What? What? No logro ver, no. no puedo Puede ver. decir Juanito, Luisito, lo que usted quiera. Dígame la pregunta y la respuesta. Ok. En Bangkok, eh, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. La mía es... He is earning your dinner, Bangkok, 7 p.m. Ok. Read the answer. Lea la respuesta que está en el libro. La que tenemos en, el, en la pantalla, por favor. He is... He is... She doing. No, Luis Armando. Please read the information here on the screen. Lea la respuesta de la, de, de la, de la pantalla, por favor. What uh, Juanito doing? Uh -huh. Banco, 7 p.m. No, tiene que leer la respuesta que le damos acá. Teacher. Yes. A lo mejor es su pant la pantalla de Luis no le permite ver la última parte, por eso es que tal vez él no logra leer. No logro leer eso. Ajá. Ok. Gabriela, can you please read the answer? Vaya, ya me pasó lo mismo a mí. Cuando activamos el micrófono no se ve el... Ajá, no puedo ver el... No se ve la pantalla, no se ve la última... Ahora, ahora sí. He's eating dinner right now. He's eating dinner right now. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Continue there, Carmen, with Tokyo. I can. I'm sorry. Let me. Hmm? Let me give a full screen. Carmen. Sorry, I can't see the 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 last line. Y ahora, ¿qué pasa? Que no pueden ver. Tiene que cambiarle la modalidad de vista. No, cambie la modalidad de vista y ahí lo va a poder ver. Okay. Lo pude ver yo. Ok. Luis Armando, read the, the one in Tokyo. Ok, teacher. What? She ah, doing. Okay. He's checking his mail. He's checking his email. Very email. good. He's checking his email. Yes. Yes. What's Hiroshi doing? He's checking his email. He's checking his email. Very good, very good. So we have the answers. These are common questions. You can ask to anybody. Uh, Leida, what are you doing? Luis, what are you doing? Emerson, what are you doing? Right. This is una pregunta que vamos a hacer para uh, indagar qué está haciendo esa persona en ese momento. Okay, at the moment of speaking. At the moment of speaking. Now, let's continue here. I am going to show you something else here. Okay. This is an exercise. This exercise is on your book, okay? This is on your book. I think it's on page 30. I think it's on page 30. Let me show you right now. Uh, please read the instruction here, Angie, and scramble. Okay, I scramble the following to create sentences. 
and scramble the following words uh -huh. to create sentences. To create sentences. Okay, very good. We are going to put the words in order, okay? So number one says, Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Vemos aquí que está desordenado. We're going to put them in order, okay? What do you think is going to be number two? Okay. Let's take a look at them. Hagámoslas en el, en, en el módulo que tenemos en el libro, right? I think it's on page 30, right? If not, we can do them here. Right. Let's do it individually right now. Individually. Esta está en el libro. In, let's do it individually. Let me know when you finish. Okay, let's put them in order. Teacher, I'm sorry, but I I I can find the the exercise in the on the book in the book. Yes, it's not in the page 31 or 30. 30? No. Yes, I took it from there. The, okay. Did you find it? Have, no, I don't have the page. I, yeah, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Ya me It's on page 38. Page 30. <laughs> It's in unit three. Right now, remember, we're in unit three. Okay, let me know when you finish. No. Not yet? Okay, let's try. Fine, let's do something. We have how many sentences? We have one, two, three, four, five. And we have how many students? Okay. For tomorrow, for tomorrow, we're going to do the following, okay? Here on the, on the class, on the discussion, right? You are going to put here the answers of your, of these sentences, okay? We're going to put the answers of these sentences and we're going to do it individually, okay? En el portal, en el portal de, de, del inglés corporativo, we're going to put there the answers for this. This is going to be the exercise for tomorrow. And scramble the following words to create sentences. So what are we going to do? Right, we're going to go to English Corporativo right here. Right? And we're going to put here the information. Now, the sentences, you're going to give me the following. Luis Armando, in Maria Concepcion, you are going to give me the answer for number two. Okay, van a ir a la plataforma mañana. Van a poner la respuesta a la número dos. Josué en Leida, you go with number three. Okay, Daniel and Emerson, you go with number four. Carmen, Angie, and Azalia, you go with number five. 
Gabriela, Alexis, en Abigail, you go with number six. Okay? Luis, Concepción, number two. Okay. Josué, and Leida, number three. Emerson, Daniel, number four. Carmen, Angie, and Azalea, number five. Jennifer, Gabriela, and Alexis, number six. Okay? So, what are we doing? We're going to put here the unscramble on the portal, right? Unscramble the following words to create sentences. So that's what we're going to do here. Vamos a poner las, las respuestas al ejercicio que estamos trabajando acá. Pero solo una van a poner, la que les estoy asignando en este momento. Is that clear? ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Ok, very well, very well. Finish your sentence. Mire qué fácil esa tarea, está lo más fácil del mundo. Tiene que ser hasta el día de mañana, teacher. If you, we're going to put it today. If you want to put it right now, just give me one moment. I will put it right now for you. Give me one second. You want to put it right now? Vamos a hacerlo en este momento. No se preocupe. Picture one. Yes. Ya cuando, termine de, cuando terminemos la clase, ya va a estar ahí en, en, el, en el portal. ¿Ok? For this one. For you to check it. That was going to be the homework for tomorrow. Okay, that is going to be the homework for tomorrow. Now I want you to pay attention right now. I am going to call the attendance. I will put the assistance super rápido, right? So you can go ahead and check there. Okay, ya pueden ir y ya está en el sistema. Right, you can check here online and you will see that you have already the exercise. Okay, you put your answer there and that will be the exercise for today. Now, let me call the attendance real quick before you go. We have Ana Gabriela. Present. Angela de Jesus. Presente. Azalea Melanie. Present. Carmen Lister. Present. Celia Jasmine. Daniela Milka. Emerson Present. Javier. Thank you. Eh, Juan Jose Hernández. Present. Le Thank you. Leida Susena. Present. Luis Armando. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. Pedrina Ileana. Ricardo Alexis. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel. Roxana Yanira. Sandra Gladys. Jennifer Abidail. Present teacher. Thank you. Now, we're going to finish here. It's 10 p.m. Today, I'm mean, staying with Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Okay? So, have a beautiful night, everyone else. I will see you tomorrow. Okay? Goodbye, everyone. Bye, goodbye. Bye, goodbye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 Hi, Leida. How are you today, Leida? <laughs> so, so. Tell me, what can I do for you? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Dígame, ¿ahora es, ahora es cuándo? Sí, yo quería que me explicara lo de... ¿Cuál le explicamos? ¿Cuál le explicamos? Dígame. Fue de la semana pasada, pero igual no me queda claro lo de have to o has to. Have to or has to. Ah, ok, perfecto. Te explico. 
have to lo vamos a utilizar cuando hay algo que es por obligación que lo hacemos. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, algo que hacemos por obligación sería... Eh, Ok, algo que hacemos por obligación, por ejemplo, podría ser uh, When you put your mask on every day, I have to wear a mask. Ahora es, man, ahora es regla, mm. es mandatorio. Uh -huh. Entonces cuando usamos have to, es porque es algo que es obligación de hacer. Por ejemplo, mm. si usted tiene un hijo o una hija, les, le puede decir You have to clean your room. Tienes que limpiar tu cuerpo. Okay? You have to clean your room. You have to brush your teeth after eating every day. Okay? Esas son obligaciones, pero es algo como que alguien le está diciendo a usted que debe realizar algo. Okay? Uh -huh. En su trabajo puede ser Leida. You have to come on time every day. Se tiene que llegar a tiempo. You have to uh, have your badge on. Tiene que tener su carnet. You have to have your badge. Okay, su carnet. So what could be another thing that is mandatory for you to do? Okay. He has to. Mm -hmm. Have to and has to. Okay. Ah, es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Um, es lo mismo. Lo que pasa es que lo mismo es una enfermedad de lomo. No. Bien. <laughs> lo que pasa. Vamos a hacerlo aquí así bien bueno. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put here have to. Esta el have to lo vamos a utilizar con I, you, we, and they. Right? I, you, we, they. And then we're gonna use has to. Has to with he. She and it, ¿ok? Pero los dos significan exactamente lo mismo, ¿ok? okay. You can say, I have to, I have to wash my hands every two hours. I have to wash my hands every day. You have to wash your hands. We have to wash our hands. She has to wash her hands. He has to wash his hands. Entonces aquí lo único que estamos haciendo es la combinación porque estos son third person singular. Uh -huh. Y el singular de have es has. Pero estos son para mandatory things. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Mandatory action. Alguien le está diciendo a usted que usted debe hacer esta actividad. Y no es que usted lo diga. Ah, okay. And then we have also need to. Need to. Need to is for necessities, right? Need to is para necesidades. It's for things that are necessary to do. For example, yo les decía, right now, I need to go to the bathroom. Right? Don't kill me. I need to go to the bathroom. Other activity could be, uh, I don't have food in my refrigerator. I need to go to Super Selective. ¿Ok? No es, una, no es una obligación, sino una necesidad. ¿Okay? No tengo comida, uh -huh. tengo que ir a comprar. ¿Okay? I need to go to Super Selective. Or we can say, for example, uh, when you are making your bed, you need to have the cup, like. Right? Oh, I am sick. I need to go to the doctor. Or I need to go to the hospital. Right? Esas no son cosas, no son mm, obligaciones. Cosas mandatorias. They are necessities. Right? So we're going to put here. Need to. And then we're going to put necessities. Necessary actions, right? That's when we're going to use need to. Remember, if you have need to, it's for 
I, U, we, they. If you have needs to, ¿para quién sería? Needs to. He, she, he, she, it. it. He, she, and it. Very well. Right? Need to, needs to, and for necessary actions. And this is for mandatory. Remember here, since we were working with simple present, right? We were working with simple present. When we have have to, and we have this, in the negative form will be don't have to. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't have to wash my hands. Me que me importa el coronavirus. I don't have to. <laughs> right? Or if it's negative for third person singular, doesn't have to. Okay? Doesn't have to. The saying is with need to. What would be with need to? The first one, don't need to, doesn't need to, doesn't need to. We have to, right? Do we understand the meaning of this right now, Leda? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very well. Copy the information then. Okay. Tell me, yeah. do you have any other question, Leida? Mm. Aproveche. Aproveche. <laughs> el examen que me costó un montón. El examen le costó. Estaba, sí, como la semana pasada casi que no estuve. Uh -huh. That's the Entonces, problem. me costó bastante, lo repetí un montón de veces. <laughs> Don't Pero worry. esta semana ya, ya me cambiaron el nuevo el horario, así que... Ah, ya no va a ser de madrugada. No, es que como ahí, cada que... Bueno, por lo menos a mí cada 15 me cambian en el horario. What? <risa> Qué feo. Bueno, cuando esté por allá, avise o oh, oh, para ver si le podemos ayudar, aunque sea por el chat, si tiene alguna pregunta. ¿Ok? Ok. O con los videos de la clase también, ahí están. A las 11 ya los ponen. ¿Mm? Ah. A las 11 de la mañana ya están los videos ahí en, el, en la plataforma para que usted los pueda ver. Mm. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Piense bien. Only that? So we have to ask to. Yo pensé que eran dos cosas diferentes. No, es lo mismo. Es solamente la conjugación con los subject pronouns que estamos usando distinto. Sí, pero ahí lo mismo. Solo acuérdense, una es obligación y el otro es necesidad. El otro es necesidad. Y la obligación es que alguien más usualmente le está diciendo que haga eso. Su jefe, su mamá, su esposo, right? O usted si es mamá, usted le puede decir a sus hijos, you have to eat your vegetables. Tienes que comer tus vegetales. You have to eat your vegetables, right? Okay, perfect. Any other question? Mm, no me acuerdo, así que <laughs> no, ahorita no. Bye. Ok, perfecto. A veces se quedan espacios solos. Que la persona que le toca a las 10 no se puede quedar, usted también se puede quedar si, tiene, si le surge alguna otra pregunta. ¿Ok? Bye. Sí, es que eran dos, pero no me acuerdo de la otra. Vale. Entonces, sí, porque mañana llevo a. Leida. Mañana llevo a Sandra Gladys, no sé si se va a quedar. Si no se queda, le preguntamos antes de que termine la clase y se queda usted. Por si sí, se recuerda la pregunta. Sí. Ok. Have a beautiful night, Leida. Take care. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.